Good afternoon, how is everyone doing today? Today, Carlos and I will be speaking about informative speaking. An informative speech is designed to convey knowledge and understanding for an object, process, event, or a concept. We give these types of speeches weekly, if not daily. Has anyone given one of these types of four speeches at any time today? And what? An object, an object speech is anything visual, technical, and stable at form. Some examples are cellos, sports cars, or books. Do you guys have any, your own examples? Speeches about objects need to be sharply focused. It gives a picture towards the audience and about the object. Some examples as well as a basic setting to do is art, house, and visitor center with a museum to movie theaters and so on. It gives you detail about what it, what objects are individual. So it's, if you were thinking about it, you'll see this in your mind. And as well as the other two, talk about high speed trends and like carrying visitors to space and talk. And the other visual will be a deck, three, 630 feet above the ground. Next type of speech is a process speech. A process speech is a systematic series of actions leading to a specific result. This is pretty much a speech that takes you on a step-by-step -step journey explaining a process that can help someone get a better understanding of your topic or that will help them get to the final result by performing the process themselves. When you're developing one of these process speeches, organization is a very important key which needs to be clear for your audience and also simple to follow along. Visual aids help visual aids Helping support your topic are also helpful as well. Can anyone give me an example of a process speech that has a visual aid and that could help the audience get a better understanding? My personal, my personal ex, um, example would be helping someone install a computer program. You would have screenshots of how to do it step by step, allowing the person, the audience, to learn and to go vital steps and in in installing the program onto the computer. An event, event speech is anything that happens or is regarded as happening. Basically, it gives detail towards the events, making you make the audience feel as the event is actually there. Example, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. You can just say that they bombed Pearl Harbor. You have to give details and say who bombed on Pearl Harbor. It's basically the who, what, and why. And the conclusion, what happened after that? What happened was Americans bombed Japan. Some, these are some other examples as a parade. The last events that take place over the course of several weeks give you details of when it's happening, and also the things you'll see, costumes between the knives and the aliens, and colors of purple, green, and gold, and as well as the food. It tells you about kahoon and dishes common to southern food. Yeah. And the last form of an informative speech is a concept speech. Concept speech is a speech that covers belief, theory, ideas, notions, and principles. A constant speech is usually much more complex than any other type of informative speech. These types of speeches should be supported by comparisons and examples to help the audience get a better understanding of the concept itself. Your information should be very unbiased and must avoid from displeasing anyone in the audience and eventually advocating them into an argument. These types of speeches, oops. these types of speeches are usually over evolution, uh, religion, freedom of expression. These types of touchy subjects. Um, over here, we have some other examples. The first major principle of a nonviolent resistance is that social change must be achieved by moral means. This is a speech that covers something personal. 
The second major principle of nonviolent resistance is that one should not inflict violence on one's enemies. And the third major principle of nonviolent resistance is that suffering can be a powerful social force. These are speeches that pretty much just cover social aspects of the everyday life. The guidelines to follow through these are don't overestimate what the audience know. Sometimes you'll be given a speech and you assume they'll know what you're talking about. Half the time, they don't. And they question and they're confused. You have to give the audience detail of what you're saying so they understand and see your point of view. Relate this Relate subjects to the audience. Give a story, tell them about an event that happened in your life or an event that happened in the world. Make them feel comfortable, make them feel that as though it might happen to them or might occur. And don't be too technical. Some other guidelines they should follow is avoiding abstractions. Also, use, always use examples and compare things covering these types of speeches. Also give personalized ideas and be very creative. When you're creating these types of informative speeches, these type of guidelines are key to helping the audience have a better understanding of what you are speaking about. It is also very important to narrow down your topic because choosing a broad topic also prevents a lot of information that could overwhelm your audience and pretty much just be information though. And that is the conclusion.